Hey guys, it's Tony George for DocSports.com. Gambling 101 series. Quickly, I'll give you a few uh, quick tips here. The NFL season's here. Everybody's excited about the NFL. It's the king of all gambling sports. More so than college football, more so than college basketball. And it's only 16 weeks. Every game counts. You know, and every wager you make counts. So let's give you a few tips here. First of all, I want to talk about reaction. And what I mean by that is don't overreact to what you saw in the preseason. You know, no one's going to show their their hand. They're going to flip their cards over when you're playing Texas Hold'em Poker. They're not going to show their hand in the preseason. You know, the only time you really see the starters is for one half in the third week of the preseason. So don't base all your early projections and early handicapping techniques on what you saw in the preseason. And also, during the regular season, don't put a lot into somebody who played bad the week before. You know, get that out of your mind. Teams have bad days. You have bad days at work. Hell, I have bad days at work. I can go 4-0 and one week and 1-3 and the next week. Using the same techniques and the same work ethic, it happens. It also happens in the NFL. You take a look at a team that uh, played badly against another team that may have gotten beaten. Say the Browns beat the Steelers. Well, Roethlisberger might have had three interceptions. They might have put the ball on the ground once. They had special teams blunders. It doesn't happen every week. Most NFL teams are fairly consistent. Some consistently good and some consistently bad. But never put too much stock in what you saw the week before. Also, especially early in the NFL season, don't spread it around. Okay? Do not spread it around. Less is more. I say it in every one-on-one video I do. You're betting more than three sides in a total on a Sunday. You're probably going to lose your ass. True statement. Keep it low. Okay? Keep the volume low. Other handicappers in this world may disagree with me. I know what wins money. I went 64% in 2016 documented in the NFL. That's winning money. And I did it slow and steady. Remember the tortoise and the hare. Slow and steady wins the race. Keep the volume low. Thirdly, flat betting. Equal amounts of money on every game. If you're a $100 player and I have four plays out or Robert Faringo has four plays out or Mike Davis here at Doc Sports, any of these guys, they have four plays out. Unless they're telling you to bet big on one, you pretty much want to flat bet them across the board. If you're a dime player, you're betting 1000 a game. Okay, but flat bet, and then when you get up on the house's money, that's when you double or triple up the wager. Okay, it's nice to do that on the house's money because nothing's guaranteed. I strongly urge you to flat bet. Fourthly, numbers are everything in the NFL. If you're not, you, you have to bet into numbers and not games. Okay, you can go on all these forums online these amateur guys, and they got a, a article that long, War and Peace, they've written on why the Titans are going to blow out the Jaguars. And I'll guarantee you, 95% of the time, they never refer to the line once in that write-up. This guy can throw the ball. This guy can catch the ball. This guy can tackle. This offensive line sucks. Defensive line is going to bowl them over. You know, it's all about the number. And one thing about betting numbers is you want to avoid fall numbers to get on the right side of them. If you're betting a favorite and it's minus three and a half, you'd much rather have minus three. If you're taking an underdog, you'd much rather have plus three and a half versus three. How many times have you lost a game by half a point? You want to get on the right side of the fall numbers, three, six, seven, ten. Usually ten, I'm looking to take the dog. Okay? So be sure and get on the right side of those fall numbers and get line value. A home underdog at plus 5.5, even if it's the Browns, the Dolphins, whoever, that might not, the Bills, a home dog of over three points is always worth the look. Over five points, worth the look. Getting the hook at six, six and a half, worth the look, no matter who they're playing. The average margin of victory in the NFL the last 10 years is 5.7 points if you added them all together. So the value is in the line. Be sure and get yourself customized to that. Also, Monday night football, Thursday night football, isolated games, national TV games. The lines are sharp. 
if there's no value in that game, I'm not putting it out. You don't take it either, okay? Monday Night Football, I'm very good at Monday Night Football. I went 68% in 2016. I didn't take every game, okay? Bear that in mind. Those lines are tricked out. There's better games to bet. It's like the Super Bowl. Really, if the Super Bowl and that trick, the, the sharp line, side and total, was out, you know, on a regular Sunday, I probably wouldn't even take it because there's more value in other games. So keep that in mind when it comes to that. And finally, and most importantly, be sure and get over to DocSports.com and get the experts' handicappers' plays. I think that you'll enjoy the guaranteed profit that we offer over there, the pure profit guarantee at DocSports.com. I hope these few little tips help you uh, at the start of the season, and we appreciate you tuning in the Gambling 101 series right here at DocSports.com.